pretty good. I'm not gonna get soaked. You know why? Because I'm gonna take a raft. That means I'm not gonna be in the water. Back! I'll be good. Oh. Do you hear that? It is pouring out there. Just check this out. Look at this. I don't have shoes on. I ordered a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Okay. It was. It's been a rainy day. It's been a. It's been a gloomy rainy day. And I'm like, dude, all I want is a nice hot sandwich and a cup of soup from Porter. And I ordered it about 20 minutes ago. And I was just about to go pick it up. And I come out, and literally the, the entire street is flooded. The entire street, from all the way here, all the way down there. I can't even get to my car, oh my if, even if I wanted to, because there's so much rain. And even if I did get to my car and I tried to move it, I'd lose my parking spot because parking down here, yeah, it's, it's nuts. It, it, yeah, it sucks. It's so the worst. We have an old raft from, from <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna pump this thing up and I'm gonna and I'm Son, gonna get you're gonna get soaked if you do that. Dude, your stupid sandwich is gonna get soaked. You need no, an umbrella. I'll eat it there. I'm not gonna get soaked. You know why? Because I'm gonna take a raft. That means I'm not gonna be in the water. All I need is a rain jacket. I'll be good. Nick, be a friend and install an umbrella on the on raft. Office. Do we have an umbrella? I don't in know. the studio? I don't know. You know. As a Minnesotan, we come from the land of 10,000 lakes, and you gotta think outside the box, you know? You never miss an opportunity to, to utilize water to your advantage. Water can be a very dry form of transportation if you use it correctly. What is going on? There was not remotely this amount of water when we came in today. It's, this has all been since this morning. All right, you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I got a hood. This is an all weather rain jacket. Uh, I'm just gonna hop in this boat, and uh, we'll be on our way. We gotta get your sandwich while it's still hot. This part up here, that's the worst part. That's the part that's unfordable. This is where it all starts and finishes. Take it to see Mr. Murdoch. You can do it, Jake! Do you think this is how Washington felt when he was crossing the Delaware? Oh, dude, absolutely. Pretty good. Is there any cars behind me? Nope. Fuck <laughs> me! There's a car coming. Get out of the way. Over here. Over here. It's weird, dude. Oh, it's going. We were just talking about how weird it is that, like, we did the Logan Paul interview. We basically became one with the flat earthers <laughs> and then a day later it's being reported on logan paul reveals how shane dawson inspired his new video the vlogger hit up corridor digital to get visual effects for his upcoming flat earth documentary and the guys agreed to help logan out if he agreed to be on their podcast Whew. it was like kicking a beehive <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely expecting it honestly but there was one criticism that i did want to address which was you guys shouldn't have even given him a platform to spout his crazy views or whatever and i do take issue with that because we didn't give him a platform it was a directed conversation directed by me and clint so we were the ones controlling the conversation not logan paul it's our platform that's it one of the coolest things that came out of this was actually people commenting that you know they listened to the podcast they didn't become fans of logan paul and that's totally fine you don't have to like logan paul the cool thing was that people were now basing that on actual first-hand experience with what he had to say rather than just listening to some tabloid or drama hit piece looking to get views like that stuff isn't healthy for actual discourse like I don't know it just made me happy that we had so many people in our audience that were like humans about it mature about it I was going through all the comments yeah it's like a maturity thing you guys are like still don't agree with your viewpoints and still don't agree with the way you do things but I'm not like hating thank you guys for listening i hope to get more controversial people not more controversial than logan paul but just more people that are controversial on the podcast not once again to give them a platform but it's fascinating to talk to those people you know movies are boring if there's no villains in them we learn from their journey just as much as we learn from everybody else's all in all i thought it was pretty neat actually
outside the box, you know? You never miss an opportunity to, to utilize water to your advantage. Actually, I think that went pretty well. I mean, I'm here. What's the damage, man? You look pretty soaked to me. It's like regular, you know, a little bit of rain. The water smells like eggs. <laughs> I just need to go get my sandwich. Hope it's still hot when I get there. Where's my boat? Get out of this wet jacket <laughs> to go back. Cuddle up with a nice cup of soup. It's gonna be delicious. Thank you. Bye guys. You're soaked. Is your sandwich wet? Not a drop. My sandwich? Don't open that up. You're gonna get all the heat out of there. It's still warm. Friend, god damn it, son. It's still warm. Yo, I'm gonna go cozy up and eat this, son. So okay. get what? Ah! <laughs> Dude! Ah! <laughs> you ripped your pants while <laughs> Wait, let me get out of these. <laughs> Hold on. Oh <laughs> Thank you. That's a good look, man. Wow. Dude, you could outside crescent kick someone like no, like without them knowing. They would think your leg is still still there, but your 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 actual leg, like your pant leg, is there, but your foot comes out, and it looks like you've just been standing there the whole time. Like, guys, you got water all over the floor. I'm not gonna get soaked. You know why? Because I'm gonna take a raft. Jake's stripping. Uh, that means I'm not gonna be in the water. I'll be good. Things got, yeah, I got a little bit more wet than I had expected. Oh, mm. Yeah, I mean, I think, given everything, I think that went, couldn't have gone better. Except for the wet part. <clears throat> Subscribe. Chances are you're a fan of Freddie Wong. I know I certainly am. Basically grew up together on YouTube. Oh, those were the days. Freddie is a guest on the Corridor cast. Go over there and take a look. It's a good conversation. Really funny. We ask him a lot of good questions that you probably would like to hear the answers to. A link in the description or maybe on screen right now. Who knows? Boy, it's cold out. Corridor cast. Go subscribe. <laughs>